click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in previous video we have studied the total process of commutation. Commutation is nothing but reversal of current in the coil short circuited by the brushes when the coil passes the MNA. In this process, the current in the coil rises to a particular value, then it reduces to zero and then again it rises to a particular value in the negative direction. Hence, the current in the coil gets reversed. But this process does not take place smoothly. Some amount of sparking occurs when the current reversal takes place. Hence, we have to devise the methods to improve the process of commutation. In this video, we are going to study what are the various methods to improve the process of commutation. Various methods to improve the commutation are first resistance commutation, second voltage commutation, again voltage commutation is divided into two parts, brush shift, commutating pole or interpoles and third method is by using the compensating windings. Now in case of resistance commutation what we have to do is Whatever brushes are used in the DC machine, the resistance of those brushes must be increased. Hence, we have to use the high resistance carbon brush. Due to this, whatever sparking occurs in the process of current reversal is eliminated and we can improve the method of commutation. Second method of improving the commutation is voltage commutation. In voltage commutation, we have to induce the high amount of voltage at the time of sparking. Because of this, what happens is, when the sparking occurs, the reactance is introduced. So, if we neutralize this reactance, we can improve the commutation. Again, there are two methods by which this can be done. First is by the brush shift. Now, in brush shift, when the armature reaction takes place, the total flux gets distorted. Now, MNA has the tendency to remain perpendicular to the resultant flux. Hence, according to the distortion of resultant flux, magnetically neutral axis rotates. The brushes are always placed on MNA. Hence, as per the rotation of the magnetically neutral axis, the brush also rotates. Next method is, by using commutating pole or interpoles. Now, interpoles are nothing but the small poles which are placed exactly between two adjacent poles. The windings are connected to the interpoles which are connected in series with the armature winding. The current is passed through the interpole winding which is exactly similar as the current in the armature winding. Only both the currents are in opposite polarity. Hence, when this current produces the MMF, the MMF of the armature conductor and the MMF in the interpole winding are same but they are in equal and opposite direction. Hence, both the MMF will cancel out each other. This is also one of the method to improve the commutation. Next method to improve the commutation is by using the compensating windings. The compensating windings are placed inside the slots on the pole face. These windings are exactly parallel to the armature conductor. The windings are connected in series with the armature conductor. Again, the current in compensating windings and the current in armature conductor are exactly same, but their polarity is opposite. Due to this, the MMF produced in the compensating winding will neutralize the MMF in the armature winding. In this way, we can improve the commutation. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.